What's going on, everybody? Little PSA came back. It's the 95 and older July special. Uh, what was it? $18 a card. Before I get to that, I did get some SGC back. If you're in the Discord group, you already saw me post this. OJ Simpson rookies came back three and a half and a four. I know some people don't like SGC, but they are quick turnaround times, and I still do respect their vintage uh, grading and then their resell values up to a point, up to a point. So the four is being part of the uh, Gridiron Games pick em, uh giveaway. I, I decided to get two to see which one would grade higher. I figured they were both really close. It was going to be like half a point off, and I was right. So the four will be part of the giveaway. I'll put that announcement out if I think it's next week. I have to look at the counter, but you guys will see what the mid-season uh, top three are going to get. All right, so PSA. Uh, a couple little shockers in here, not a whole lot. A lot of this stuff is going to be 70s and back, I do believe. All right, starting it off, starting it off. Jordan came back in 9. This is the 96 uh, medal. It's hoping for the 10 on it, but somehow I missed something. Uh, 9 on to it. Still not bad, still mint. This is just one will go DC Sports. I picked this up in a dollar bin, so can't go wrong with it, really. I think they're selling for a little over 30 if I recall right, so a couple dollars profit. All right, we're going to start off with, I think it's four of these. Yeah, four of the 1954 Top Scoop cards. This is one of my favorites out of the set. It's the Notre Dame uh, Four Horsemen. Let me see if I can get it focused a little bit better here. There we go. This one's pretty beat up. Came back a one and a half. Been debating on putting a set together of this stuff. So I just graded it just in case I do start putting a set together of the scoop, which eventually I'll upgrade them all. But just getting the initial ones in. But I hardly see these. And when I do, I see them on eBay. And I'm just really don't like buying a lot of the older stuff ungraded on eBay. Just for the fact that, you know, fraud and stuff going on. All right, next one. This is a cool one. Dempsey defeats Willard. This came back a two. Let's see if I can get a little bit better focus here. Probably shouldn't have put the plastic sleeves on these right on the bat. Pretty cool card. I like the artwork with this stuff here. You guys can see that you get like a little uh, daily news thing on the back of these. Pretty cool. Custard's Last Stand. Really cool. Came back a two. And then finally, Joe Lewis, the new champ, came back a two. Really was thinking this might have came back a little bit higher as a three, but got to get my, my grounds back for uh, grading vintage and guessing grades. Uh, three golden press cards are next. I got these each, I think, at a dollar a piece. Now, these have perforated edges to where they were ripped. So this is the first one. Bill Dickey came back four and a half. Lefty Grove came back a five. Pretty cool looking card. I don't know if you, got, you guys could kind of see where it's perforated there. And finally, the big, bigger uh, grade of Mall Mel Ott came back a seven. Really nice uh, picture and quality of this stuff. When I see these, I try to pick them up. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to build sets of this stuff eventually down the road or not. So I just started grading some of it. Just so I have an idea when I'm looking at stuff raw where it's going to, you know, pretty much hopefully piece out when I grade it. I uh, picked this up for a couple bucks. It was a 59 Tops Al uh, Kayleen. Came back a three. Corners were a little messed up and stuff on to it. This was from an older gentleman that came by my table uh, with a book of vintage stuff. And I just grabbed a hold of it. I was like, what the heck? He said a couple dollars for it. But the biggest piece was, and I'll show you guys if you can see it, why it's a three. Right up here, there's a crease that comes in. I was curious on something like that. It's kind of like a very light but bigger crease where it would come at grading. So a three. Same gentleman I got the last three from, too. 73 tops out, Kayleen. Six and a half. 
pretty cool for a little bit older. I mean, if it was centered better, it'd have been a lot better of a grade. Uh, five and a half on a Lou Brock. Same thing, the centering left to right mostly on to this. And finally, I already have this in a lot higher grade, but the 74 top strikeout leaders, Nolan Ryan, Seaver, came back a four. So nothing too crazy overall. Uh, a lot of this is for my own self that I've been grading uh, for the vintage. A lot of it I just have belief into it that it needs to get <laughs> secure before they start getting more damage from people handling it or throwing it in some kind of Tupperware bin. You never know. Uh, like I said, something I may start looking at building uh, PSA registry sets again. I just, I don't know, I just, I'm not there yet where I want to be at with it all. Uh, you will start seeing more vintage stuff on my end. There is another order that'll be in, I want to say it's Monday, but that's where I stuck all those like 8 or 9, 89 Chops Traded Griffies that basically I paid, I think I was in it for $22 total for them all, and it did really well overall onto it. But that's everything here, guys. Not a whole lot for a PSA reveal. I'm happy. Trying to get my groove back on with uh, Vintage again. Some non-sports, some sports. We'll see what I can keep digging up from the shows. Other than that, guys, have a good weekend. Tomorrow, I will be at the Newburgh, Indiana show set up. So I'm going to see if I can pick a few more pieces up. Hopefully, the guy remembers to bring the one card I asked. And then we'll have all three pieces put together for the... Uh, what do you want to call it? Mid... Um, giveaway for the Gridiron Games, the mid-season. Baronet, like I said, take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all next video.